Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries. Today's topic is closure. Why you need it with yourself and with God. What is abortion recovery? Having an abortion is traumatic, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. It affects all people differently. Many symptoms show up from months to years later. Abortion is not discussed openly in our society. Also, what really happens to a woman after she's had an abortion often doesn't line up with what she was expecting or promised. And as a result, lingering issues are never dealt with. They are buried deep because they're too painful to face. So why is it important to do this? It puts closure in your hearts with yourself and with God. Closure is bringing something to an end. In conclusion, a final part. So why do you need to have closure with yourself? You may be stuck in a certain way of thinking and you need to put an end to it. And conclusion, a final part. An example of an issue that I needed closure to was my abortion. My abortion was always in my mind. Every day, the whole scenario of the abortion experience constantly played in my mind. God wasn't able to promote me in life because he couldn't get through to me. I was thinking about my traumatizing experience so much that I wasn't receiving the new growth or opportunities that he had for me. After I took some time to work on that area that was holding me back in my relationship with him, I got better. <laughs> I got freedom from that way of thinking that was holding me back in my relationship with him. He promoted me. My relationship with God got better. I'm able to hear his voice better. So why do you need to have closure with God? Abundant living. Abundant living means life is overflowing, plentiful, oversufficient, richly supplied. After my abortion experience, my heart wasn't feeling plentiful of overflowing fullness, with sufficient thoughts of living, nor enjoying life. It was a very painful experience that I let fester too long in my heart. Well, I have my iPad here, and I'd like to read some scriptures to you. The first one here is John 10.10. 10. The thief does not come except to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So where does life come from? All life comes from God. And because all life comes from God, I, I really believe you need to include him in your healing. The next set of scriptures that I'm going to read is Psalm 139, 13 through 16. You brought my inner parts into being. You wove me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for you made me with fear and wonder. Marvelous are your works, and you know me completely. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and intricately put together in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw me unformed, yet in your book all my days were written, before any of them came into being. Okay, let's summarize. 
We all need closure from our traumatic experiences with ourselves and with God. You need to include God in your healing. Working through abortion recovery promotes abundant living. I'd like to invite you to pray with me. Dear God, I desire closure from the trauma in my life. Help me to have the faith that I need to include you in my healing. Empower me to work the recovery process until I'm living the abundant life that you desire for me. Amen. Well, thanks for watching. Live life liberated.